Okay, we're going to draw a conical hoof with a duck. So firstly, we'll draw the top view and the front view. So first we combine these two views to get the line of interpenetration to get the hole. And uh, we're going to the develop the cone with the hole. So first we start with the
So uh, this is our So we have the top view. This is our top view. We have the cone. We have the duck. And this is the top view. Now we are going to start by drawing the uh, with on the duck. We'll draw the semicircle. We divide them. This is the center, center line. Same. Top view. So firstly, uh, we're going to create the hole here, the intersection in the top view from the cone and the duck will get, will get the intersection, the hole here. From this intersection, now we'll get the line of penetration on top. So we have one, two, three, four, five six seven now here we must be careful and here is one we have two we have three we have four and three coins be five six then you have seven now it be the seventy said <coughs> we'll have uh, six will come start with two f5 with three and we still have four right now said how do we find the hole here or the inter interpenetration um in top view we use the um the, our method is a cutting plane so we cut when we cut horizontally let's say for instance uh, if we call this point here is x and this point here is y so it says if we cut horizontally if we cut here on top here 
and we project the x you see this point here if we project x interview all right so we can draw a circle this is the radius we can draw the circle here this circle that will draw that is this cut at this level now you see that x is with one line one pass by the uh, x one is here so the intersection will be here now we go for the second one it go with two see that two this is the line of two so with two Now, with two, if we cut with two, we project at the center here. Yes, I just will make them a dashed line. Now, if from O, let's say this, this is our point O which is the apex so this cut at the level of two so this line here this line here of two now the intersection two Six two with six. Okay, let me extend it again. So this actually can be a full circle to avoid many lines. So you see that with two, this is the level of our cut. We bring it down on the cent center line, we draw the circle. Now the intersection of the line two is with six. You see, the intersection of the line of two. The, the intersection is there. Then we have six here. The intersection is there. Okay. Now it goes with three. So this is the level of the cut of three. Now we project the tree in the top view. Now from there, we draw again the cut. So you can draw a full circle to avoid all the many lines. So this is the line, the cutting plane of three now this cutting plane of three let me go correct it a bit So we have now the line of three is with five. Three is here. So the intersection is here. Three and five. And we have again three and five here beside. So this is the intersection. Now we go with the four. Four is at the center. This is actually this is the line four the cutting plane we bring this line to 
natin. If a compass. So, four. Four. That is right here. This is the end at uh, the face of the duck. And for this side also. We draw the cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane. Five is with three. So we have five is here with three. Then we have five is here with three. Then we move to six. This is the cutting plane. Cutting plane. We project it. Level of six. This is the cutting plane at the level of six. Now we bring it here. Six and two, they are there. Six and two, they are here. Okay. Yeah. Now we have seven is with y. We just take is the same of x. You see x. And the intersection of the cone and the duck the at x and the at y if y is the same line as seven you can just put it here. Yeah. so you can see for x and y we have these two point and others x and y coincide with one and seven you see x is with one y is with seven X and Y, they are on the line of 1 and 7. Now, this is our uh, interview, the way that we see the penetration of duck on the cone. We can now, uh, show here. Okay. 
So you see, this is the line of, I mean, the penetration. Now we are going to get the interpenetration in the top view. How are we going to do? Okay. So we have one and one there here. See, one up to x x out of there, we have one out here, the mid here. So if we bring them up, <coughs> they are there. Now if we go with two, this is two, up to here, uh, that is two. Now when we are going to take two up, and when they meet with two, will be the intersection with two. So two is really Closer to one. And this is the line of two. Two is there. Yeah. See, one is here. If x, two is just after x. If we bring it up, the intersection is here. Now let's go with 3, 3 is here, see 3 and 5, this is the line of 3, the intersection was there, if we take this intersection, we bring it to 3, the intersection is here, now 4, 4 is here, see this is 4, is here, four goes to the end. so this is four. Then you take five, this is five is there, three is here, three five, the intersection is then you take six. This is here. The intersection is here. Then you have y. Y is here. So, so remember what we do is we have this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. See one with one, two with two, three with three, four with four, then five with this five, six with that six, and seven. So these are the point which project them front view elevation, and we match them with these numbers. Then you have the interpenetration, which we are going to draw again. That is the line of penetration. So we have our cone. This is our cone. This is our cone. We 
have a cone and of penetration f the dark here we have the base of our cone now we are going to draw the development we're going to develop our cone now for us to develop our cone this is the base we have to get to some point which are very important because they here we have already the distance of the cutting plane and these are the distances of the cutting plane on the face we have already the true length from 0 to 2 or to 3 or to 4 or to 5 or to 6 or to 7 we'll draw those arcs now on the base we need now to join we have 0 to 1 we have 0 to 2 0 to 3 0 to 4 0 to 5 we draw to get the position on the base because remember this interview this is a true length of the base now 0 to 1 0 to 6 we have them yeah so this the coin set is with 1 and 7 so here we have 1 and 7 on this point here now we are working on this circumference now uh, 0 to 2 you see from 0 we draw a line up to 2 we get the position this is the position of 2 0 to 3 we join 0 and 3 or O this is the position of 3 0 and 4 this is the position of 4 on the circumference you see we are now locating them on the circumference 0 and 5 4 and 5 5 is there see 5 is closer to 2 3 is closer to 4 then 0 and 6 4 and 6 so this is the position so you see that on the circumference this is the position of 1 and 7 position of 6 position of 2 position of 5 position of 4, position of 3. Now, <clears throat> if we want, because our, let me check first the length, length is almost eight. Yeah, see, this will be our center. So this is the true length of the cone. This is the true length of the cone. Now you see that we have one and seven. They are here, so we have one and seven. So one and seven. They are here. Now we need the position of six on the circumference. This is the circumference. Uh, yes, this is now the distance between seven and six. and six this is six six now six to five let me see oh, six to two so, now, so that we have to use the divider six to two Yeah. 
this two, two. Now two 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 to five. Join them. So now is that we want to get the position of one. Now how do we get the position of one? From the top view, we have the true length from O from O to the let me just write it here. So this is the length of one, length of two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And the length of seven. <coughs> of seven right now I start with one I take the true length of the, this cut so the first uh, cutting plane was at this level so just through the because this intersect with one I don't want to have many lines so I have one here now I go zero to two the second cutting plane was on the level of two this is the true length now I'm there where is two two is here again two is here so I have the intersection on two intersection on two then uh, <clears throat> from zero to three, zero to three. This is the two length. Then what is three? Three is here. Three is here. So that is my three. And yeah. Then I go to four. This is the true length of four. And there. Four is here. And four is here. And I have one four. Four is here. And four is here. Go 
continue like that. Five. Get two times four, five. Okay. Now come here. Put it five. Five if there. Five again. Is here. Right. Then I have five. Was that? And I go to six. Six is there. That is the true length. So six is intersect with six. There we go. There we go. Now lastly go to the true length of seven. The rain is here, so seven is on the line. All right, so I have all the end now. Is to join them. Okay, so this is our hole, the development of our hole. Okay, yeah. so uh, the rest is if we continue with the circumference, it will be the development of the whole uh, cone. So don't want to go there, we just limit it here.
so this is the hole this hole here if we develop this cone this will be the hole and the other side it will be only a circumference so we're done with this drawing thank you